Hello everyone. So we have uh, Raghunath Reddy with us today. He is creator and head of Opstra at Definage. So there's an opportunity to discuss a very interesting uh, topic uh, with him. So, uh, so normally Raghunath, when people trade options, uh, I, I guess through Opstra, when they trade, there are usually two types of uh, uh, possibilities. I mean, one who will not look at chart and uh, will not have any any view on the direction and he'll simply trade uh, strategies and adjust you know the based on the market situation and uh, there are other uh, uh, types of people who look at uh, will have view on the market maybe they'll use technical charts or maybe something else or news but they'll have some kind of view that there'll be an uptrend or downtrend market will go up it will go down or it will remain sideways and they'll trade accordingly so uh, uh, we'll discuss about the first uh, type some other time but about the second uh, type there is a possibility to look at a chart pattern or charts and form a view and trade options accordingly right yes so uh, uh, particularly when we look at point and figure chart there are some objective setups mm -hmm. no there are many objective patterns which will i mean see in the patterns also there are some kind of subjective patterns you have to analyze charts and then form a view and then there are some objective patterns which will uh, i mean there is some probability that some some kind of you know uh, mm. market will do this i mean that kind of uh, thing you can uh, derive so in point and figure there are some objective patterns so i just quickly wanted to discuss two objective patterns in this video and we'll discuss how we can trade options using them so the first is uh, triangle i mean triangle is a uh, pattern of convergence in technical analysis in point and figure charts you can simply define it as a series of columns and the first column is within the range of its previous column. So if you look at this image, uh, in the first image there are four columns. The second column is within uh, the range of its previous column and the third column is within the range of its previous column and so on. So when a column is within the range of its previous column, we call it inside column mm -hmm. and this is series of three inside columns and it is a triangle pattern. So we call it four column triangle pattern. Same way it can be a three column triangle pattern or multi column triangle pattern, more than four columns. It can be five columns, six columns and so on. So just a question. question. Yeah. So in this case, uh, like what is the probability of occurring these patterns in uh, charts? Yeah, so uh, the four column triangle is kind of rare. I'll also show the data, but uh, three column triangle are kind of more frequent okay. four column triangle and multi column triangles are very rare yes so four column triangle is something see even three column triangle has also good uh, kind of uh, decent hit ratio okay. uh, when you are trading one or two instruments it can be a very good pattern but if you're trading multiple instruments for example i'm looking at it in the universe of 40 50 stocks or more than that then the occurrences can be more, more. Okay. yeah but four column triangle is a very good pattern of convergence and uh, I mean, it's a very objective way to look mm -hmm. at uh, the price and uh, you know decide whether there's a convergence. Now, usually, what happens is after conversion, there will be an expansion, mm -hmm. and uh, you know this is the kind of cycle. I mean, in, to put it in very simple words, there will be a breakout in uh, upside or downside after this pattern. No. So it's uh, if you speak in terms of candlestick, it's like consolidation. Correct. It's a consolidation. Mm -hmm. So it's a consolidation, and it can be followed uh, by a breakout. Yes. No, so how do we decide a breakout? I mean, after this four column triangle, if there is a double top buy or a price goes above the previous column high, mm -hmm. then there will there is a bullish breakout, okay. right? And if it goes below the bottom of previous column, then it's a bearish breakout. It's a double bottom sell after a four column triangle breakout. Now, this is a price breakout formation. If there is a bullish triangle breakout, uh, there is a pattern of bullish breakout after the convergence. And if it is a bearish uh, double bottom sell, it's a bearish breakout after pattern of convergence. Usually when we trade it on futures or uh, underlying or in, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so the uh, rules can be if, if there's a bullish breakout, I buy here, I put a stop loss below the bottom of previous column. Okay. And uh, th that is the, that is how I will plan a trade. Mm -hmm. Now, before we discuss more on options, so when when we look at the data, there's an interesting thing. And when mm -hmm. if I do, uh, do it on Nifty daily chart, 
uh, a four column triangle there are about 52 occurrences i mean on a nifty daily chart okay right? so how long the data is this is since inception okay so roughly i mean okay. on any okay. instrument mm. the point here is there are 52 four column triangles mm. and if i test five column triangle so okay. there is one more uh, column and it remains a column of consolidation the pattern of consolidation okay. there are uh, roughly eight uh, occurrences <clears throat> so from 52 there are eight uh, okay. patterns uh, so four column triangles getting converted to five column triangles mm -hmm. are just eight roughly about 15 52 percent okay. so in other words 85 percent of time there will be a breakout mm -hmm. i mean it will not remain a consolidation column so just to go to the previous uh, image see here uh, chances of coming another column which makes it a five column triangle is 15 percent and 85 percent of times there will be a breakout i may not know the direction of the breakout mm. but i know that there is a possibility of breakout okay. of course if it is a column of o then naturally there will be a column of x with so more chances of bullish breakout after the first uh, mm. So I know uh, that there's a probability that there will be a bullish breakout uh, after this pattern. So if I can plan some kind of strategy here, right? So this is first pattern that I wanted to discuss. And then uh, uh, there's another pattern. I call it super pattern. This is what I've, uh, uh, I designed while uh, writing a book. And because I was looking at a lot of charts and I wanted uh, a pattern, which is a combination of multiple factors. So here what happens is there are four kind of rules. One is there's a double top buy mm -hmm. followed by a strong column at two. I mean, there are rules that at least there should be 10 boxes after a breakout. So there's a strong momentum, mm -hmm. right? Then in the third, uh, uh, there should be a shallow retracement, not more than four box retracement okay. after the strong anchor column and followed by a double top buy at point four. Okay. So this is a pattern which uh, shows a breakout. There's a strong momentum, very shallow retracement. And because there's a shallow retracement, it's a strong, uh, uh, you know, the uh, momentum is in favor. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a strong bullish momentum. Uh, price is niche and now it is uh, going up. Okay. And there's a double top buy again. So it's a follow through breakout. Okay. So usually in this pattern, the momentum is in your favor. There's mm -hmm. a breakout. There is a, a follow through breakout as well. Mm -hmm. Now, typically how we trade it in underlying uh, buy here at the point four and put a stop loss below 0.3, somewhere below 0.3. I mean, there's a double bottom sell, or you can put a stop loss at moving average and you remain in the trade as long as the pattern is valid, or you can trail it using some kind of double bottom sell or something like that. Okay. So, and, and uh, opposite of this is very super pattern. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a strong momentum pattern. So we have discussed. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Good. So what is the frequency of uh, this super pattern? Yeah, this is again a very uh, kind of rare pattern, okay. but it's a very uh, uh, decent pattern. If you'll ask me to, uh, you know, rate it somewhere, I mean, it is a very strong bullish pattern. Okay. Just to quickly uh, give you the data, I mean, roughly the it's about 57% hit ratio, okay. but risk reward is really high when I, mm. you know, trade it using uh, a double bottom sell as a stop loss. Okay. So that's a very, uh, you know, uh, interesting pattern for me because it has got a very uh, minimum stop loss in triangle also in super pattern also the stop loss is usually very uh, small. affordable small but the momentum is in favor in this pattern okay. and the ca case of tri uh, triangle it's a convergence pattern so the nature and type of both are different but they are very effective pattern now this is how we trade it in underline yes yeah how do we trade this pattern i mean just to now give you I'm, i've explained the pattern how will you like to trade it in options using option strategies in Opstra or any other ideas that you might have. On this. Yeah. So basically, you know, both of them are uh, looking like momentum strategies. Okay. One is breakout and this one is uh, more momentum, the super pattern right. has a very strong momentum. Right. So usually, I mean, we can do at least uh, three kinds of strategies. Okay. The very basic one is a long call option or long put option. Okay. Uh, where you think that there is a very strong momentum, mm -hmm. then we could go for long call option and long put option. Okay. The reason behind is that uh, in long call option and put option, mm -hmm. there are three factors working against uh, the, the those options. Mm -hmm. One is uh, time, mm -hmm. volatility, mm -hmm. and then the direction. Right. So the direction has to move in your favor. Mm. very fast mm. 
Mm. Otherwise, you will start losing the premium from the long option. Right. So, you will be in loss. In the right. Right. So, when we see uh, this super pattern, mm. it looks like a very strong momentum. Mm. Then one could go with uh, a long uh, call option or put option. Mm. While in the case of uh, triangle, triangle uh, breakout, mm. because it's a consolidation, we are not sure mm. whether it's a strong momentum mm. or it will take some time to mm. uh, have some kind of movement. Yes. So in that case, we have to give more time mm. uh, for the trade to develop. Mm. So because we don't know how long it will take to develop. Mm. So in that case, uh, long call option and put option may not be ideal okay. because we don't know how long it will take. Mm. So in the case of uh, long call and put option, we need to have strong movement. Mm. So in the case of triangle breakout, we don't know about that. Mm. So we know that it will have a direction, either mm. an upward or downward, mm. but we don't know how long. Mm. So in that case, the best strategy is to go with is uh, vertical spreads. Okay. So, in the vertical spreads, we can do uh, debit spreads mm. and then we can do credit spreads. Mm. And both of them have different characteristics. Mm. In the debit spreads, we are buying uh, at the money call option yeah. and then we are selling out of the money call option. Mm. So, there, there is a strong sense of direction in the strategy. Mm. Okay. Mm. And here also, there is a, a possibility of losing premium mm. if nothing happens in the strategy, mm. like in the direction terms. Correct. And then we have another uh, vertical strategy, vertical spread strategy. It's called credit uh, spread. Credit spread. Yeah. In the cre credit spread, we sell at the money uh, option, mm. and then uh, uh, we we buy out of the money option. Right. So. The advantage is that uh, we get more time to stay in, the, in these strategies, both of these strategies, mm. so that we give more time for the trade to develop mm. and we are still can be right on the direction. Mm. So if there is strong momentum, go with long put call options. Okay. And if your momentum, you're not sure about the momentum, yeah. then go with uh, vertical uh, debit, debit spread and uh, credit spread strategy. Mm. I can show you some examples like what are the yeah. uh, credit and debit strategies. Yeah. And before that, you know, I want to show like, you know, mm. uh, like, you know, if you want to, uh, let's say, buy a at the money call option. Okay. Okay. Mm. Then we can see what are the advantages and disadvantages of just buying an option. Mm. So as I said, there are three things are working against it. One is time. Mm. One is volatility and the other one is uh, delta. Correct. So if you don't, if the uh, strat if the the underlying doesn't move mm. in your favor mm. very quickly, mm. then one you lose uh, the time value. Yes. And then if the there is a drop in implied volatility, mm. then you lose on Vega. Correct. And then the direction, if the if the direction is not in your favor, mm. then there also you lose here. Mm. Like if if the direction goes in the opposite direction, mm. then also you lose. Mm. So three factors are playing mm. role in this. Mm. So whatever has to happen, it has to happen in a very short time right. after you enter the trade. Right. So there a strong momentum like in the case of uh, super pattern mm. is much more uh, mm. suited to do this kind of strategy. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now coming back to uh, a uh, debit spread mm. we buy long call option here mm. okay mm. and then we sell out of the money call option let's say 18000 pound okay so we sell one lot each mm. so we have uh, this kind of uh, debit spread strategy yes now here also it has some disadvantages like that of uh, long call and long put options mm. but the but in this case, the the loss that you have to bear is limited mm. because you have also uh, mm. sold an option mm. to offset any loss mm. uh, from the bought option. Mm. And another thing is that you still have the direction mm. 
and you take out the volatility factor mm. out of this uh, mm. out of this strategy mm. so only time and the delta is working against mm. you mm. but not much mm. like in the case of uh, long call or put option mm. so and if let's say after your uh, triangle breakout mm. and if it goes in your direction mm. then this is a very good strategy because you have more time to develop that strategy right, right so there is high probability that you will be profitable in this case yes and same way you can do a credit spread as well yes mm. so in the credit spread we sell uh, at the money option mm. so if you want to be bullish you have to do with the put options in yes. this case yes and then we buy one out of the money options yes. so it will look like this yes so here advantage is that even if direction is not in your favor mm. you will not lose much here mm. so direction factor is taken out of yes this. only if it goes the direction goes against you then you are in trouble yeah but otherwise if the direction is in your favor mm. or it does, nothing happens mm. after the breakout mm. then also you are fine mm. Mm. and the volatility also doesn't play much factor in this yeah so basically what we are trying to do is that is give more time for trade to develop yes yes, yes. and another uh, uh, strategy is there uh, let's say uh, you find this consolidation at the bottom some kind of bottom let's okay. say it could be uh, after some downtrend yes or it could be after, after some uptrend. top okay. after uh, yeah. uptrend yeah so in that case this is some kind of uh, you are expecting some kind of contra trend move yes okay yes so in that kind of scenarios yeah you can do ratio spread right ratio spread is ideal when you are expecting some kind of uh, yes. contra trend move yes and i believe uh, uh, i'm not sure like if mm. super pattern happens mm. in that kind of scenario mm. but i believe that uh, uh, the triangle breakout could be a good candidate in that kind yes. of uh, yes. Yes. scenario yes. yes so in that case uh, we for the contra trend moves we use the ratio spreads okay in the ratio spread what we do is that we sell one uh, uh, sorry we buy one at the money option mm. and we sell two out of the money options okay so in this case for example um, let's say there is a downtrend in the market mm. and then there is some consolidation mm. and there is a triangle consolidation the breakout mm. and if we see that this has a counter trend move mm. then we uh, then we sell uh, sorry when we buy at the money call option mm. and two out of the money uh, call options so let's say 18200 yeah so we are selling two out of the money options and mm. we are buying one at the money correct option mm. so we can play around like you know to get mm. the structure that we want mm. so usually you should not see any downside loss mm. so the combined premium of the options that you are selling mm. should be greater than mm. this uh, this option mm. so maybe you can go even further uh, down okay. yeah something like this is very ideal right so now the market has moved down and you see a breakout yeah So you are expecting a contra trend move. Mm. So here, mm. if your contra trend move fails mm. and the market still goes down, mm. okay, mm. so you will not lose anything on the downside. Mm. So if the trend keeps on continuing, even of uh, even the the mm. triangle breakout fails mm. and it trend uh, continues downward, mm. then you will not lose much in this case. Mm. But if the a triangle breakout is successful mm. and it is slowly moving upwards mm. then you then the then the stock moves uh, in this zone mm. 
then you will be profitable and the same way you can do uh, when when there is a top mm. you do with uh, put ratio spreads yes something like this yes was, something like this yeah it was uh, after bottom there was a triangle and yes. here after tra- top after there top. was a three column triangle yes. and then there was a three yes so it is kind of reversal pattern pattern yes. where you suggest ratio spreads ratio spreads yes yeah. so when there is a continuation triangle pattern maybe you can do debit spreads or yes. credit spreads yes and uh, when there is a reversal pattern yeah. you can do ratio spreads ratio spreads and even in case of super pattern uh, of course we can uh, buy call or put because yes. it's a momentum pattern yeah. but at times what happens is uh, uh, price goes below previous bottom yeah. or it hovers around there it spends yeah. some time is uh, time there and then it moves yes. so there also maybe you can we can do spreads debit, yes spreads yes. and uh, debit spreads are more advisable maybe because you know momentum is in favor or yes yes you know debit spread is more, more uh, advisable suggested in the case of uh, strong momentum yeah in a strong so yes. maybe something like super pattern yes and if you want more time mm. in the trade mm. then you go for credit spreads mm. so like if the momentum is not that strong yeah in that case yes. yes so this was kind of uh, uh, i mean we can uh identify patterns and then decide on option strategies accordingly i mean uh, we have discussed this but based on our experience when you look at the options trader there are a lot of options traders they use opstra also they use various methods to you know define their trades what do you think a single factor that an option trader should keep in mind i mean while trading strategies and you know doing all this mm-hmm. to make sure i mean they can execute the thing successfully what do you think i mean uh, the very common mistakes that people do i mean uh, let's take uh, the example of traders who use charts yeah. to trade options right so in that case uh, you need to be careful at what premiums you are buying options okay. or you can you are doing the spreads okay uh, for example when your uh, option premiums are very high ha huh. then it may not be advisable to buy just options right. even if the momentum is in your favor okay because you don't know if there is a drop in iv mm. associated with increase in uh, price right so there uh, you know i mean even you even when your direction is in your favor right you could still lose right so when ivs are high yes. and even if direction is in a favor yeah, you right. can it lose may, you may you might mm. lose okay so in that case uh, you have to be mindful that you should go for spreads in that case Mm. so when you are using spreads it kind of nullifies any mm. iv related issues there. Mm. so there you still have the direction mm. and you still have the time in your favor mm. so the only thing is that you don't have uh, like unlimited profit if if it goes like you know yeah, yeah, it yeah. goes like a rocket if the market right but otherwise uh, you are fine mm. in that case mm. so be mindful of uh, at what price you are buying options mm. so buy options when there are they are like you know reasonable premiums mm. now uh, how how does one know like you know premiums right. are very high right so we have something called as iv percentile right in in obstra, in obstra yes. or in general yeah so iv percentile tells you uh. Uh, based on history right that if the premiums are very high or less If the IV percentile is hundred, let's mm, say, mm. it means in the last one year, at this point of time, the options are have the highest premium. Correct. At this point of time. Correct. If the IV percentile is zero, mm. then it means the option premiums are at the lowest mm. compared to last one year. Yes. So IV percentile helps you to mm. see if you are mm. uh, paying more mm. for your uh, option. Mm. So when IV percentile is high, it is. Uh, uh, better to look for selling options so strategies yes. where you you have credit spreads or maybe yes. you have sell yes. yeah so we are nullifying the yeah. the iv factor right. by doing spreads will you also look at iv for iv line falling or rising to decide because every time yes. it will not be at zero or you know at extreme yeah. level that's a good question yeah so if you go and look at the uh, some of the iv charts for example so i'll uh, remove some of this so as you can see here uh let's go to 
little bit more like for mm. example here mm. when there was this corona scare mm. we always like you know went into stratosphere mm. like uh, in the case of nifty mm. an adha money option mm. which was in normal times is around 200 rupees mm. it went up to 1200 to 1400 rupees mm. at the peak of uh, this iv mm. so at that point of time can you imagine somebody buying that kind of option mm-hmm. so i mean you have to pay so much money yeah so it's not ideal in in that case that will also happen during uh, general events like elections yes, or elections uh, rbi events yes. or in the case of stocks uh, let's say around results time mm. or if there is some kind of fda action mm. on farmers farmers mm. for example uh and if there is uh, likelihood of some announcement of buyback or uh, dividend announcement so those all factors can you know cause the iv to spike and increase the premiums right. of the option right so having knowing that you know at what level you are mm. in terms of iv mm. helps you whether uh whether you should buy options or not mm. whether you should instead move move to doing spreads so how uh, what is your as in the current situation what will you say iv is rising or uh, yes so, so in the current situation if we uh, let's say so currently what happened is that mm. the implied volatility has gone mm. to very low levels yeah the wicks went to around 11 or 12 mm. so at that point of time the iv percentile is close to zero yes so it means the option prices are very less right so in that case buying if you were directional for example yes, so. like if you got a directional move mm. uh, towards downside yeah buying options was no brainer in that case so just buy put options so we saw that three column triangle break yes. out at the top which yes. was a bearish breakout yes. pattern and when their iv is low at that time yes. you should uh, look for simply buy options naked options yeah but once if if these ivs are like you know very high mm. then in that case uh, better to switch to spreads mm. to avoid paying more for the mm. option so uh, maybe you can have a look at keep a look on a uh, look at iv yes. and uh, along yes. with patterns yes so uh, if you track this then you can decide your option strategies accordingly yes so so that you get you know uh, like you know best of both worlds yeah both in terms of price action yes in pnf charts and in any any other any charts, other charts yes and also to know which strategy to use mm. in terms of uh, option study yeah. wonderful thank you raghunath yeah. thank you and uh, uh, for you i mean you can explore all this in opstra you can see these patterns uh, uh, you can scan for these patterns in r zone or trade point so you can know about the candidates in derivative segments where options are liquid if there is a triangle breakout or super pattern or any other pattern on point and figure rank or candlestick chart and maybe then you can uh, track iv and decide on your option strategies uh, in coming rubru videos we'll discuss more about uh, you know these kind of ideas and the combination of price pattern and option strategies thanks for your time and uh, have a nice week thank you